Hi, my name's Amanda Miller and welcome to my channel. Kind of, oh my, that's getting cringy now. I'm fed up of saying that, so I'm gonna try and say something else from now on. But today we're gonna be testing out some of the most highly rated makeup revolution products. Yes, I bought these off, you know, YouTuber, beauty YouTubers um, recommendations and also uh, from Beauty Bay's kind of star rating, you know, reviews. So we have the, we're gonna be testing that I've already tested it by doing my intro later. I know I'm sure wing liner, but we have the Soph. I've heard such good things about this Soph Revolution palette. Extra Spice is supposed to be the better one. Uh, this Revolution Contour Kit. Oh my gosh, this was really stunning. I think this cost me seven quid on sale. This was eight pounds, my lord. Uh, I think Tati recommended this and this has got over, all this has got over four stars on uh, Beauty Bay and yeah, I think Tati recommended this really nice highlighting palette, sorry I didn't need to blind you, really stunning, uh, that's what I'm wearing right now, uh, that's just a crappy, that didn't even have a star rating, that was just an eyebrow thing which I did use, it was alright. Uh, I heard good things about this F2, um, not F2, this Revolution uh, Pore Blurring Full Coverage Foundation Matte Base. Yeah, I heard some good things about this one I'm wearing now. I heard some good things about this. It's, uh, it's good, but I did have some issues. Uh, it might just be my skin. Uh, this had five stars on Beauty Bay, and I've heard some really good things about this banana powder. And we move on, we move on. The iconic, the iconic makeup revolution concealer. Yeah, everyone loves this. It just creases on me. It's a really nice concealer, but it does crease a lot, especially on older eyes. If I was 18, or if I was in my twenties, this would be stunning. But no, in my thirties, mm, creases are like a bastard. This opalescent skin finish from Revolution Pro, which is obviously part of Makeup Revolution, is actually supposed to be a dupe for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, and it is stunning. Really, really nice. Uh, gives you a nice glow. And these weren't rated, but I just love so. So I thought I'd give it, give her, her lipsticks a go. And they're very nice, uh, not amazing, but nice. nice. So yeah, let's get on with the video and let's see how this all performs on me. Keep watching. Right, first things first then, let's go in with this matte base. Uh, I don't prime, all I did was just put some moisturizer on. That, that'll do me, so. Yeah, let me just turn you. I don't think this is a good angle. Neither is that. Right, let's put on this, I don't know, foundation. Uh, this is the Revolution. And it's in the shade F2. I'm, I think it's gonna be too light, being honest, peeps. Yep, just as I suspected. Oh, I give in lately trying to find out. It's either too light or too dark, but this is way too light. I'm gonna pick up another one, but actually, oh, it feels really nice already. I do like this. Yeah, so this is the foundation on. It's way too light, unfortunately, but really nice finish. I do like it. Uh, not settling into my lines, which I love. Uh, medium coverage, I could still see some pink bits showing through, like my face gets kind of reddish. I know. Mm. Let's set it in place with this banana light powder. I believe on Beauty Bay this had five stars and it's a fiver. Fiver for five stars. So let's 
put some into the best way I do this is just just tip it into the cap and for a fiver it doesn't matter if you waste any so yeah I have my mirror here and some powder and top a bit of that off <laughs> I just dropped my fucking powder great BRB Right, I'm back. I had to refill the page up off uh, up because it went everywhere, all over the floor. So the joys, hey. Let's tap some of that off. And oh, too much on there. <laughs> oh, I just yeah. Uh. Mm. I looking very matte. Shit. Uh, it is, I find that a lot of makeup revolution like base products, uh, just on first impressions is that's creasing on my eyes quite a bit and look it's creasing there, oh gosh, uh, that is creasing quite a bit which is a bit of a bummer because um, it was really nice on application. But yeah. I'll have to try and do something with that, like pat me a little. Uh, yeah, that's enough powder, I think. <coughs> I'm choking on powder. It's like cocaine, isn't it? Snorting the stuff. Right, yeah, I've kind of um, put the foundation on and the banana powder. I got it all in my wine glass. I'm drinking banana powder, but I'm not wasting wine. So if it kills me, then fair enough but yeah apart from the fact that it's too light um i quite like it it's not too bad so we are going to go in with the famous iconic everybody does not shut up about these it kind of drives me mad we're gonna go in with the shade c1 because this foundation is too light for c5 so we're gonna go in with c1 uh yeah Just put a tiny bit up there because I've been creasing up there with my foundation. And I'm going to really have to work hard to get these creases out and then set it all big. But I've got a funny feeling this does crease on me. This concealer creases like. Let's see if we can cover that big forehead line. So kind of, I need money, I need, I need Botox. Give me some money for Botox. How much does Botox cost? I think it's probably a lot. No, I'm joking. I'll just grow it all gracefully, thank you very much. I'm gonna have to work this like a bastard, I can just tell. So yeah, that's my skin after the foundation powder and concealer. Uh, the foundation is really nice. My only issue is, is it's doing that thing where it kind of accentuates these lines. But that's not the foundation, so that's what just age. Um, if I was under 30, this foundation would be bomb. But as you get older, you just, uh, the thing is, trying to find a foundation that doesn't sit in your lines is kind of a feat. Um, but that's the issue, isn't it? I mean, sometimes I watch these young YouTubers and they recommend stuff to me. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I want that. But because they're under 30, their skin is so different to someone who's in their 30s. So, yeah, that's why I like to do these videos because um, it gives you a perspective then, especially if you're over the age of 30 or... So, yeah, let's go in with this Revolution Contour Palette. This is what I'm so excited for. I'm more excited about this than any of this shit. So, let's go into this and play with this. I think I might contour and bronze. We're gonna, we, we need contour and bronze. Look how friggin' white we are. So, what do we do? Uh, we could contour with this, uh, like, like cool tone brown shade and um i'm gonna bronze but i'm gonna bronze with this and contour with this so let's see how that goes it could be a disaster mine so let's get on with it yeah if i remember rightly this is a very pigmented and i've heard such good things about this palette so i got to go in with a light hand
Yeah, so I've just bronzed and contoured a bit just because my face was so pale. I was like a ghost. I still am, but I love this. So far, this is my favourite product from what I've tried. This is stunning. This shade, oh the under eye brightener is just amazing these are really pigmented just stunning really and for the price eight quid oh my gosh um yeah and i've heard this recommended over and over again and i'm so happy i bought this it's gonna be new, my new favorite contour bronze palette at the moment so yeah uh let's move on to eyeshadows the best bit i think eyeshadows are so much fun Still the rest of this shit. Just eyeshadow. Just give me eyeshadow. So I'm going to move on. And I've heard really good things about this Revol makeup revolution. This soap does nails, but it's the extra spice. Uh, this was apparently this had over four stars on Beauty Bay rating, and I've heard quite a few YouTubers, beauty YouTubers, talk about it. Uh, there's been so many I can't specifically name names. But this is the extra spice. I did test out the Emily Edit the Once palette and I wasn't a fan. Uh, so, and it made my eyes burn, so I'm hoping that this does. And I love soap anyway, and I'm just happy to support it. I love it to bits. And so, yeah. Look at these shades. Oh my gosh. This is the first time I've actually put this on my eyes and I am so excited. So let's just get on with it. And it's got a nice mirror in here. So that's always a plus. Right, so, oh my gosh, look at these. There's not too many shimmers. It's more mattes in this, but let's go in first of all with this running late. Um, my modern crease and brush. Oh, got an itch there. So yeah, oh gosh, not too much kickback, which I enjoy. So yeah, let's play with this. I'm hoping it doesn't irritate my eyes, make it revolution. Last palette did, but already that seemed better than the last Emily edit one. Yeah, I put that running late all over, you know, my eyes. Stunning. No issues at all. Oh my God, I'm so impressed. So impressed with this palette, Sophie. Oh my gosh, it's really, really nice. No blending issues, nothing. Just don't make my eyes sore. Just went on like a dream. So I think we're going to take this sweet and sour. I love sweet and sour. That reminds me of uh, um, Chinese, I'm hungry, sweet and sour sauce, mm, sweet and sour chicken, ooh, I could do with some sweet and sour chicken. So let's take, I don't know what brush is this, this is a JH35 and I'm just going to dip into sweet and sour and see if this shade performs as nicely, picks up. So yeah, oh my gosh, just, I'm just going to deepen up where the crease is there, just to get some depth in there. So, yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good, I love this. Yeah, so I'm really happy with the way that looks. Right, I'm gonna go in with LA Sun, which is like this yellowy color. So, let's some of that up. I might just use my finger because I can just tell these are probably the types of shimmers that work better with your finger because they're quite, you can always tell when they're hard pressed in there and your finger always does a better job, okay? Dig your finger in there a bit but when you do that and I do suggest again with these sh the mattes in this palette probably applied you know with a brush quite nicely but I do recommend 
with shimmers like this. I can always tell what type of shimmers work best with your finger. Um, this rep. So I'm going to take this reputation here and I'm just going to take it on a bit of a definer brush. There was lots of kickback in that colour. I'm just going to take uh, some of this lakes colour here and try my hardest to try and blend that out a little. Anyway, let's move on to this opiate. Oh, sorry, let's move on to this Revolution Pro opalescent skin finish. Uh, and put that all over our face. See if we can get a bit of a glow going. So, yeah, uh, kind of hold everything. Uh, let's see if we can get a glow going. So, let's. That foundation's come off my nose a little, but I think it's just me. So, let's see if this is a dupe. Oh, it's very nice. I'm just going to put it everywhere. It's going to be a fibre, so... Can scrimp, can we? Yeah, we can definitely some something shiny going on here. Mm, I like that. It's definitely give me a glow. I haven't got any blush on. By the way, I could not find any highly rated Makeup Revolution blushes, so... We'll skip. We don't need blush. I can't be asked. But yeah, I really... Like that. That is very nice. Now I cock my winged liner. I'm not doing winged liner anymore. I've officially given up with winged liner. Because, do you know why? Has anybody got any recommendations for a good wing, like a good product for wing liner? Because I can't find one. But did my eye makeup come out really nice? I do recommend that Sophie palette, Extra Spice. It's really nice. So, yeah, I think that's enough glow for now. Let's move on to just a bit of highlight now. Uh, I don't know what colour, uh, we'll go peachy and white. This is the, I don't know, the fall thing. I think Tati recommended this, so let's... Am I glowing? Yeah, I can see, oh yeah, I'm glowing. I am just going to set my face with this i have i couldn't when i went online um i couldn't see a highly recommended setting spray from makeup revolution at all the reviews were very negative so i'm just going to use this instead and i haven't heard any like beauty tube youtuber i know recommend any makeup revolution setting sprays so it's a bit of a bummer. Neither blush. I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody highly. I don't know any highly recommended Makeup Revolution blush. Uh, so we'll just have to go with eight blush today. I'm cool with eight blush. <laughs> I'm just going to finish off with this little Soap Does Nails lipstick in the shade Fudge. Uh, only because it looks nice. So. Yeah, so this is the finished look using my highly rated Makeup Revolution products. Uh, mixed bag feelings, really. Uh, I'm shit at wing liner, so ignore that. Uh, foundation was okay. Probably a, the wrong shade for me, and I choose a different Makeup Revolution. Wasn't my cup of tea, but obviously foundation works differently on everyone. The banana powder, I loved that. 
absolutely i did enjoy the concealer apart from the fact that it creased on me but it's a really nice concealer uh it's only because i'm a bit old and i get terrible creasing uh yeah uh the contour and bronzer ah, amazing really enjoyed that uh the soaked as nails eyeshadow really nice palette lovely obviously it's not going to be like a high-end you know like abh or you know like but for the price it is really good the soft as extra uh, soft as nails and it's the extra spice palette uh love the highlighter really 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 enjoyed this my lord this is stunning and it's a fiver it's the opalescent skin finish uh highly recommend that like i've heard loads and loads of times it's a dupe for the Hourglass ambient lighting powder, so I love that. Oh, that soap does nails lipstick, yeah, it's okay. Um, not the best, but I think it would be really nice over the top of a liquid lipstick. There is a little drying, so yeah, but not bad. Um, eyebrows, nothing special, and no blush today. I couldn't find anything from Makeup Revolution blush wise that was highly rated so neither could I find any setting spray so I gave in. So anyway if you liked anything please subscribe hit my bell um I've got some more videos planned and yeah I will see you on my next video very hopefully uh yeah